Hello from Slider and hello from Weaves. What's going on, guys? In the last bit, I talked about how GCD can be calculated in mathematics or the highest common factor, greatest common denominator, whatever you call it. In this bit, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to make this program in Java. So here, I have a buffer reader which asks the user for input, and here I have a system dot pr or println statement that says enter the numbers. The user enters something which is stored inside this variable int a, then int b, right? So there are some different conditions which we need to see. If one of the numbers is zero, the GCD is zero, all right? If both the numbers are same, the GCD is gonna be the number itself. If you take this case where there is four and eight, as you guys can see, eight is a multiple of four. So in that case, the smaller number becomes the GCD, all right? And here the last but not the least, 36 and 60. In this case, the GCD becomes 12, which we are gonna calculate half. So let's go ahead and make this program. I'll say if A is zero or B is zero, our GCD, we need a variable for that, right? I'm gonna say int GCD equals to zero, right? Then I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna say GCD is zero in this case. Else, now in, inside this else part, here's the thing. If then if one of the numbers is gonna be zero, it's gonna go over straight over here. All right. Otherwise, we'll be here. So in this case, we need to check three things. We need to check this. If a is less than b, if a is greater than b. Right. The two numbers can be one number can be smaller, one number can be bigger, or both numbers can be same. Right. So we need to check these three conditions. So let me go ahead and say if a less than b, do something. Blah blah blah. Else if a greater than b then do something else right otherwise we know that the gcd is going to be the same number so in that case i'm going to say gcd equals to a all right so here if a is less than b so this is one of the cases which we need to talk about so i'm going to go ahead and tell you what how this thing works so here in this case if you guys see a is less than b we can have two numbers like four and seven all right if you take the smaller number four if you see divide that by four Take the larger number seven divide that by four all right the remainder is not going to be zero for both of them right then go ahead take three for both again the remainder is not going to be zero for both of them take two for four by two the remainder will be zero but for seven by two the remainder is not going to be zero right we want both the conditions to be true but if you take four by one and seven by one you will see that the remainder is zero for both and that means one is our gcd right so let's go ahead and write if you guys can see there is four there is three there is two there is one so what i'm going to do is i'm going to make a for loop over here as a four and i equals to the smaller number itself i should be greater than zero because remember we don't want four by zero right that's going to cause an error so we'll say i greater than zero and we'll say i minus minus so at this point i'll take the first number a divide that by i check if the remainder is zero and at the same time i want the bigger number b divide that again by i right and I'm gonna check that if, if that is equals to zero, all right? So if this is the case, then GCD is gonna be I, right? So you guys can see over here, here the GCD was one. So here the GCD is gonna be I in that case. And at, at this point, we also want to stop calculating. So I'm gonna say break over here. What this break will do is after this calculation is done and the condition is verified, the break will say, okay, man, you're done with this, get out. And that's what it's gonna simply do. It's gonna give you a break, all right? It won't run after this. So with that being said, uh, the same thing applies everywhere. So here in the other case, A is greater than B. You can have two numbers like 12 and eight, all right? So what you do first is take the larger number 12, divide that by your smaller number eight, take the smaller number eight, divide that by itself, all right? So in this case, if you see this remainder 12 by eight is not gonna be zero, but eight by eight will give you a remainder of zero, all right? But we want both the remainders to be zero. So that's not working. So take 12 by seven instead, eight by seven. Again, both are not gonna be zero, 12 by six, eight by six. The second one, the remainder is not going to be zero, right? 12 by five, eight by five. In this case, again, no remainders. 12 by four, eight by four. Now observe this. If you see here, the remainder is zero for 12 by four and eight by four is also giving you a remainder of zero, right? So that means our GCD is four in this case. And that's how we calculate. Again, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to make a for loop over here, right? For loop I is going to start, is going to start with this number, which is eight, right? And that's our smaller number, which is B in our case. So I'm gonna say for i equals to b, right? i greater than zero. I'm gonna keep decreasing by each time, i minus minus. So I'm gonna first take our larger number, which is a, right? I'm gonna divide that by i. I'm gonna check if the remainder is zero. And at the same time, I want the other number, which is our smaller number, b. That also should divide i perfectly, giving a remainder of zero. So if that happens, then in that case, our GCD is i. And again, I wanna say break. Now, if you guys are wondering why I'm saying this break, now take a look over here. If you don't say break, what is gonna happen is after this, we'll go to 12 by three, right? And then this will go to eight by three. Then we'll go to 12 by two, we we'll go to eight by two. So here again, both the remainders are gonna be zero and our GCD will become two at this point. And again, 12 by one, eight by one, 
the GCD is gonna become one at that point, right? We don't want this. We want to stop right here, right at the statement, and that's why we put this break statement over here. So I'm sure I figure out you guys understood this by now. As GCD says, so let's go ahead and run this. Let me print the GCD first. System dot out. Dot print ln GCD control S shift F6. If you have the numbers 12, 8, the GCD is 4. If you have the numbers 36, 60, the GCD is 12. If you have the numbers 4 and 4, the GCD is 4. It's working perfectly. So I hope you guys understood something out of this program. It's a pretty simple program. If you like what you saw, please subscribe to my channel. Comment. Let me know your thoughts. I would love to hear from you guys. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys later. Have a nice day.